Bilal is someone whom the Prophet وسلم, said he heard his footsteps. He heard his footsteps in paradise and wanted to know what is so special. What do you do, Bilal? That makes you so special. The companions wanted to know. The Prophet وسلم, said he heard his your footsteps in paradise. <sighs> Bilal was so beloved to the Prophet. One day Abu Dhar and Bilal got into an argument. This is such a profound lesson for us in, the, in, in, this, in, in this modern century that we live in. Abu Dhar and Bilal got into an argument over how to distribute spoils of war. Abu Dhar made a suggestion and Bilal said, no, that's not the way we should do that. How did Abu Dhar respond? Anybody know? He called him son of a black woman. He called him the N-word. Same thing. Called him the N-word. Can you imagine today, subhanAllah? <laughs> Cancelled. You know, that's it. There's no coming back for you, bro. Permanent cancellation. Imagine if I went online and called somebody the N-word. Game over. Especially with this color right here. Oh, it's over. I'm going to hide. So he called Bilal the N-word, basically. And it hurt. That hurt Bilal. It hurt him. He went to the Prophet ﷺ and complained. You know, because he loved Abu Dhar. How could Abu Dhar call me this? Look at the wisdom of the Prophet ﷺ as well. This is also... A, um, this is also a, 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 a lesson for us online. Verify your sources, mate. <laughs> Verify your information. It will save us from a lot of headache these days. So the Prophet ﷺ said, tell Abu Dhar to come to me. He knew Bilal to be truthful. But you know what? In every situation, there are three sides to a story. One person's side, the other person's side, and then the truth. Which is usually somewhere in the middle of those two. So he called Abu Dhar and asked him, did you say this to Bilal? And he admitted it. He said, yes, Ya Rasulullah said it. He was ashamed. The Prophet ﷺ said, Abu Dhar, there's still jahiliyyah in you. That broke him. Jahiliyyah to them meant the time when they worshipped sticks, rocks, stones, false gods. They were ignorant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was the worst. You could be no worse in that time than a jahil. So, he was very broken by that. And he went to look for Bilal. And when he found Bilal, he looking for him everywhere. Where does he find Bilal? He finds Bilal in the most busy place in Medina, in the market. And what does he do? He goes to Bilal, what does he do? Does he call him to, you know, come, come around the corner, let's squash this beef, you know what I mean? Let me, let me holler at you, let me take you to the side, we'll squash it in private and then we'll come out and tell everybody, yeah, we squashed it. No, 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 that's not how men handle business. I insulted you in public, I'm going to make contrition in public. So he went and threw himself in, on the ground in front of Bilal and said, I will not get up from this spot until you put your foot on, your, on my face and prove to everyone that you are better than me. Now what did Bilal do? Did he jump? Yeah, I would jump on him. You know, like that's how prove a point. No, no, no. He picked him up and kissed his face and said, I'd rather kiss this face than step on it. And that was it. It was over. It was over, it was squashed. That's how grown men handle business. That's how two grown men who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala handle business. That type, of, that type of atmosphere, that type of idea, that type of, uh, of ideology is rare in today's day and age. Please like, share and subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Please also like, share and subscribe to our Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description of this video.